Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria to the Super Nations Mod as a North American Union um, where we just finished the Great American War against the European powers and we won. We have pretty much all of the Caribbean, actually we do have all the Caribbean, and the European powers are no longer in um, South America except for Spanish Peru. I probably should have taken them out but that's fine for now. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we do need to prepare for colonization in 1890. And so I'm going to get these naval bases up and ready. We also took New Zealand last episode um, from the British. So all we have to do is make sure that we do have these naval bases ready. Um, awesome thing here is that we do have a colonial map mode all the way up over here to Guinea as well. So we can try to take these and maybe work into taking uh, Malaysia. Um, we can even actually take Sulawesi, apparently. That could be a nice option to do. They're allied with uh, Brunei and Sarawak, which both of those can also be taken, potentially. But we do have a lot of infamy right now. Um, so we're going to hold off on that for now. But I would like to start expanding into Asia a little bit. Um, Americas are pretty much completely ours, so I think we're good there. Anything else, though, is that we have, um, okay, so Spanish are going to war in Africa, and we have Brazil still attacking Bolivia, but regardless, okay, let's see what, what our decisions are. Organized West Indies Federation, so far, nothing. So we're probably going to have to wait a little bit before anything else pops up. But we can go ahead and... Actually, let's go get some money first um, before we do that. Um, we do need to recover from our war exhaustion. Because we're not going to be making nearly as much money as usual. Um, as a result of the war. But we can go ahead and take our military spending down even a little bit more. Um, that's good. We got that army tech. Let's see what else we have going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab phenomology and um, hermeneutics. Because that's plus 100 research points which is quite a bit for us at least um in fact it's what an additional eight which give us to about 42 research points per month um and that's gonna help us out quite a bit so we'll go ahead and grab that uh, we won't be getting i don't want to get oh japan we'll take the alliance yeah, because they're not going to get us into any unnecessary wars. Um, Germany could be kind of cool to ally, but Japan is going to be a great ally for now. Um, Switzerland. Let's see. You're not even supposed to be allying people. Oh, they're a great power now. Who dropped? Spain? Probably because I was kicking some uh, European butt in that war, wasn't I? A lot of people lost um, some prestige. I'm going to trip the volume a little bit just for my sake. If I can click that right. There we go. All right, let's do this. Um, soldiers in New York, we can go ahead and switch that. In fact, every single one of these provinces can switch. Um, I think we might be good on capitalists. What do you guys think? So 20,000 capitalists would actually be fine for us yeah you have sixteen thousand. so most stuff is being built almost immediately um so we're gonna go ahead and actually switch over to clerks um if you look right over here we only have 0.51 uh, percent clerks and optimal is four percent let's go ahead and switch that then and get some more research points um we'll start with new york and of course go down the list And mostly states look like they can support more, more clerks, so we're good there. Uh, Panama Canal dividends, fantastic. And as far as states go, actually, let's go ahead. Actually, hmm. There's not a ton of closed factories, so doing this should not. Yeah, only uh, 40,000. That works out for us. Um, I'm actually going to switch one of those to. Newfoundland because they have a lot of Hispaniola as well. Um, let's get craftsmen from Mexico 
and then from New England for this one. And see if we can kind of support some of these businesses here with more workers. We can start subsidizing the factories too. And hopefully they don't close before we can get them some more workers. Yeah, because East Manuela has a lot of factories, but not a whole lot of craftsmen at all. Uh, same thing with... Um, what was the other place? Newfoundland? Actually, Newfoundland is actually doing pretty well. Um, international crisis in Mosovia. That is fine. So Newfoundland over here. Um, as far as the state goes, I'm going to see if I can find a farmer or laborer pop. That works out. Um, so they have... Actually, they do not... That's craftsmen. My bad. Um, you, for example, have third, plus 34%. And there is no cap per se. Um, as long as there, if, as long as there's work there, they can go ahead and work in each of those states. Um, so it ends up working out just fine. All right, it's going great. Nationality-wise, you guys are curious. Uh, most places are Yankee or Dixie, or um, kind of shifting over between Anglo-Canadian. Uh, what is this? Armenian. Silver City, right. So um, I did add this literally just barely, um, Silver City here, as a new province in the game because I was messing around with uh, the 1961 timestamp. And I realized that the Confederacy had their boundaries um, a little off. Well, not exactly off per se, but they did these territories right here um were divided between both the union and the confederacy so about basically about this half right here was the confederacy well the northern half was part of the union um, during the civil war and so i went ahead and added this province because you can't just make all of albuquerque like one or the other because it's so long and so i added silver city right here and so that's a new province in this mod in this game uh so there's nothing right here um but that's because i added it during this let's play so there's nothing in here uh, while well, normally there is. Now it's Irish. So it does shift over, but in the, when you start the game, it's going to have like 3,000 people. So it's fine. Um, likely in your campaigns, so just going to be a little bit weird in mine. Well, that's zero province life rating. That's also an issue. I don't know if it started out like that or not, but I'm going to have to look into that. So just ignore that for now. Oh, um, lines up from Bolivia. That is fine. Actually, I'm pretty sure it does have a life rating. Um, we just don't see it because we're in the middle of a let's play. Um, this Let's go ahead and actually take some taxes down. I do 5% on the rich. And sort of shift this around a little bit. So Robert E. Lee just died. Um... All right, this army is fine. Let's go ahead and act, well, actually, let's look at our uh, navy is 84 over here. Mostly monitors. Let's get rid of anything that's not modern-ish. So man of wars are going to go, frigates are going to go, and that's it. So these guys are be deleted. And how about these, please? You have one in Monterey. In fact, we could probably start Oh, we have a lot of money now. Let's go ahead and actually go ahead, or I'm just repeating my words, aren't I? Uh, let's build up our naval bases. Upgrade all of them. Of course, it's going to take a little bit, so I might just jump ahead and skip this part super quick. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, and there we are. We have all of them, not all of them, but as much as we could. Um, the war just broke out. I'm kind of curious, what war is going on here? So the German war, Polish freedom. We have the German empire, the UK versus Russia and France. Interesting. So the German War Polish Freedom. Because they want to get Congress Poland to have all of its core provinces. Germany is actually fairly weak considering things. Um, though granted the UK and Germany were just at war with us. And we were wiping out a lot of their troops. And so they're weakened between France and Russia. So I don't know if they're actually going to win this time. Um, unless the UK is able to... But they only have 12 ships left because of course we wiped out a lot of their ships. So they might have a little bit of an issue there. Um, let's go ahead and build up some more as far as our navy goes. Because monitors are not bad at all to have. 
Alliance offer from Belgium. Alliance offer from Sweden. Not really enthusiastic about either of those. Um, okay, we want steel steamers so we can actually start working on um, these higher tier naval ships because we're going to build up our navy. Like That's kind of what we need to do now because basically the entire continent of North America is under our control and South America will soon enough be under our de facto control as well. Um, all right, you hate us. Spanish, Peru. We have a truce with Bolivia. We can go to start spearing them. Paraguay as well. And who else? Let's start Colombia as well. And Brazil. Uh, Chile will take the alliance. What's the Adinia plan? Rio Grande, Puerto de Seado, and Rio Gallegos. That's over here, isn't it? Somewhere. I thought. Or is that down here? Okay, I'm gonna look that up because I don't think I've ever seen, like I've seen the Slater report, which is Alaska, Guiana plants obviously over here um, in Guinea. And then we have Adenia, which is Puerto de Seado. Where is that? Oh, way down here. So it would be these three down here to Israel. And Rawson becomes their capital right here. Oh, this is interesting. So they get all of this and this for Israel. Which would be interesting. Should we? Or give them Alaska. Actually, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. It sounds interesting. It is interesting, but I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, that's fine. That is also fine. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and get some army units built. That would be great as well. Um, oh, Africa, right? So let's get um, some units trained in Africa. We'll probably do a small... Oh, those are in the islands, aren't they? Um, let's do four infantry then, and then they just kind of man the islands. They're probably going to get killed regardless, but we'll do it anyways. That's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but I do realize that we are kind of like one over as far as efficiency goes here um, for our army stacks. I, know, I think 13 is the highest sort of efficiency ratio. Uh, but 49 isn't too bad either. Balkan War. The Balkan War just started. War of Turkey. Oh, they're all at War of Turkey. Okay. Well, uh, I think Turkey's going to lose. Even, like, Bulgaria, Greece, like, they're all... They have a lot more military power um, than Turkey does. I have no allies in this. Granted, we do have uh, the fact that Russia is at war with Germany right now. And it looks like they're actually winning. Well, mobilizing definitely helped them, didn't it? So good for them. Uh, Bolivia will take the alliance. If it means we can get our uh, um, sphere thing up quicker. Look, just at South America, we do have control over a decent portion of it. Um, Ecuador's already ours. Chile, we can go ahead and stop funding. Same with these. And Bolivia, we can go ahead and influence. Also, the Democratic Party did win again. Um, so we can't really influence our economy anymore. I wasn't really thinking about that too much. Uh, but it's too late to think about that now. 
Why does the Socialist Party just got a massive increase, didn't it? So even if the Republican Party is 36.8%, um, they only seem with the Radical Party, which is at 40... Actually, I don't know. Because even if you do combine all of these, it's still not enough. Unless the Radical Party split from the Republican Party and deciding things. Um, but that, looking at that little ledger tidbit, um, brings me to the point of the fact that this economic or this political system is completely wrong for the United States. <laughs> um, because the United States isn't a parliamentary republic at all. It's a presidential republic. Um, this is a two-party system. What the freak is going on here? Militant socialist. Okay, okay. Um, suppress all of them. <laughs> um, so we have a lot of suppression points we can use. I haven't normally done this at all. It does work if you're trying to lay... Well, it does radicalize them. So that's the issue there. But as far as reforms go, we kind of want to wait until we can get our next reform, which is not yet because we can't enact a social reform. Uh, that's unfortunate. So, but we do have enough of an army to fend them off. So I'm not too worried about that. So go ahead and, and do your work, boys. Um, we should have an army up here. Yep. I think it's just the northeast. Looks like parts of Mexico as well. Can we get you to walk over here? No. Yeah, they won't accept. We have quite a few troops stuck over in the islands. So maybe we should go rescue them. Um, but anyways, I'm hoping Victoria 3 fixes. And it did seem like it when I saw... Some of the pictures they posted um, that they are going a little bit more in depth as far as the political system goes. So you don't have stuff like this happening because in the United States, for example, you might only see like maybe one or two percent in a third party. Um, but the rest are going to be in the two dominant parties because there's a two party system. Um, whereas the other countries such as like over here for or the UK or a lot of uh, European republics, um, it's completely different. And so, there's that that I'm hoping that they fix about Victoria 3. Um, and then there is... Well, actually, I completely forgot, so never mind. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Um, oops. Yeah, take out all those rebels. Um, El Mirador. Good for them. And take out those socialists. And hopefully they kind of revamp the whole revival system. I'm hoping that there's a little bit more um, death to it. Instead of just have people like randomly start attacking and occupying stuff. Because that's unrealistic. It's unrealistic. Completely unrealistic. Um, maybe have... Oh, there's protests going on. Maybe like you have like little protest groups. But you can't attack them. And these little, these little protests are going on. And you can see those... And maybe they drive home issues. And of course, if it's something that's serious and you continue to ignore, and maybe protests, if protests break out, you have the emergency reforms option, maybe, you can have, that you can um, use. And I think there's a lot that you can, you should be able to do um, to control your country. So hopefully Victoria 3 does embark a little bit on uh, making the system a little bit better, at least. Let's take our army maintenance down just slightly. Um, yeah, it's all fine. We're at 15.98, so I'm thinking we might actually be at a point where it could be good for us to start looking at um, getting troops out to the Asia, to New Zealand and stuff. Um, let's send you on this ship. In fact, we're not going to send you to the mainland. We're going to send you straight to New Zealand. Our glorious colony in New Zealand. So now that you're there, let's send you here to Auckland. 
Uh, and where is my Hawaii? There we go. That's just about done. There we go. It's done. So let's get that to our uh, level three um, naval base. Because now we should have... Yeah, we can actually colonize this right now. The Hawaiian Islands. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And that's good for us. Um, Paraguay. Here you are. So let's go ahead and increase opinion there to neutral. San Salvador is rebelling as well. And let's begin justifying against... Actually, I think... Is that after or Sulawak? So if we get... You're after 1888. Um, and if we have them in... At peace is in the North American sphere and either they are an absolute monarchy. We could get them peacefully. Potentially. Or just attack them. We have the infamy to go. So it could be good. Ooh, Lanfang is still a thing. See, that's something I was kind of thinking of that could be interesting. Because Lanfang is like the only republic in all of Asia. Like, at game start, Lanfang is there. Like, they're, they're a republic. They're basically kind of like the US of A um, in Asia. It'd be kind of interesting to see a little bit more done with them. Um, they are uncivilized and stuff like that. But it could be interesting to maybe make them a puppet. How much is making them a puppet over annexing them? Annexing them outright is cheaper, apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and start justifying against Sulawesi. Go ahead and increase our influence over here in Bolivia. Add to Sphere. Fantastic. I don't think there's anything else to worry about there, so that's good. Um, South America, we're only influencing Colombia and Paraguay as of right now. Empire of Brazil, it looks like we got banned from... All right, blue brown water steamers is complete. Let's go ahead and get at least one um, level four over here. And the rest, let's get over here on the east coast if we can. Norfolk, Long Island. I think we do afford one more almost. We need 62,000. So maybe over here in Boston. There we go. So now we have five tier um, four naval bases, level four. Everything else is pretty much fine. Um, the Dark Continent, we don't actually have access to yet. Why is that? It's right here. I don't see it in the ledger at all. Um, it's minus 60%. But we already have biologism, military logistics, and steel steamers. That's plus 60%. So we're going to get it regardless right away. So that is fine with me. Um, market regulations could be good. So we can get... Actually, that's a really good tech. On um, that plus 20% diplomatic influence. So we can invest in these countries a lot quicker. That's only going to take a few months. In fact, only like six or seven. Oh, we only got 1.1 in for me. So we actually take that Cassis Belli twice over their allies here. Sadawak is apparently in the UK's influence. Or sphere. And Bali is in Japan's sphere. Um, as soon as the month ticks over, we're going to go ahead and grab this fleet again. There we go. Let's take you over to here and invade the island. Not you, Sweden. Looks like communism is now a thing. We also got naval build time reduction or reducted. And Netherlands, of course, founded communism. Uh, Paraguay, where are you? Right here. Increase opinion. Cordial. Fantastic. And here we are. Let's declare war. So declare war. Stop protectorate over Sulawesi. And 
it. Invade. Another allies joined. So if another allies joined, we can go ahead and try attacking maybe one of these other countries. They're in the UK's sphere, so I'm a little bit more hesitant about it. Um, but Sulu is not. So we can demand a protectorate from them. And hopefully not discovered right away. Only 3.2 infamy, that's not bad either. Let's go ahead and wipe out that army. And go to Kandari. Well, our naval's just kind of, maybe just chilling over here. Um, we did discover cruisers, so, but cruisers require level 4 naval base. And submarines and dreadnoughts require level 5. So we're not going to be able to do any of those. Um, market regulations, fantastic. And now we do have a cast spell against Sulu as well. Um, economic responsibility, probably not nearly as good as market regulations was. Um, let's go for late classical theory. Let's get some of that throughput tech in there. And we create a protector over the Hawaiian Islands. Really? Colonial Hawaiian Islands and regular Hawaiian Islands? Is that different? Those different states? That's kind of cool. So we can actually build a um, a little old naval base in Wake. I like that. And Bonet we got. And let's go ahead and see if we can take peace. Not yet. They're not willing to peace out. A big game hunting. Let's just gain the prestige. And now that's taken. So let's go ahead and get on the um, ships again. Now let's go ahead and build a naval base in Boulogne. Not you, Switzerland. Venezuela, I will take. Ecuador, I will take as well. Are there any decisions yet? No. And commerce. Through protect, it's only permanent prestige. Here is a lot better. Let's just go straight for back to industry. So let's go ahead and grab. Ooh, semi automization is super good. And 12 hour workday. Kind of appease those rebels a little bit. Yeah, plus the whole suppressing system as far as uh, rebels go isn't that great. Because if we were to look over here, all it does when you suppress them is that it militarizes them. And guess what? They pop up like right afterwards again. So it doesn't even do anything besides making things worse. Which is unfortunate because I thought, I mean, it's kind of a decent system. It's just not very well um, put into the game. Granted, it does make sense. You can constantly suppress um, rebels, for example. And of course, they're going to militarize and whatnot. But like, there's not really much of a good reason um, to suppress rebels. So let's take them. More money. Um, and go to Bintolo. You add a war goal against Sadawak, probably, to establish protector for a protectorate. It's five infamy, but we're fine with that. Um, apparently, there's a rebellion in Korea. I don't see anything about it, though. And France wants to ally. Is Japan not our ally anymore? I guess not. They broke our alliance. Um, but I don't really want to ally with France. Ooh, Austria is falling apart. Look at that. They got Slovenia. They, oh, there are satellite nations. So it's like they're releasing them. Um, but no, we're not going to take that alliance.
are almost caught up to the Germans, so that's good. Let's take that offer from Chile. Paraguay is doing good, and I think Colombia is the other one we're focused on, right? Yeah. Um, they have a lot of investors, though, which we could actually offset if we were to focus on building up the railroads just slightly. Yeah, it does help a little bit. Can do with Potaguay, probably. Yep. Actually, I think there was no other competition anyways in the first place, so that didn't really do anything for us. Um, right, and we're over here. I forgot. Now, I'd love to take this nation, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, other... Okay, so we take Sulu. They won't accept. Why? Oh. I didn't realize there was another um, province for them. So let's go on to our ship. Or fleet. Uh, factory through the tech factory. Okay, that's nice. That is super nice for us. Um, cheap steel will be really good. Assembly line is also super good. Combustion engine, pretty good. I almost want to go straight for assembly line. Actually, no, let's do this. A cheap steel first, then assembly line. Let's get this industrial revolution going for us. Alright, Sulu is ours. So they should take peace now. Yes, they would. So let's annex Sulu. And then we can annex Sarawak. There we go. We're expanding into Asia. So fantastic there. Let's go ahead and keep building some naval bases. Um, there is Oppie over here. But like I said, they are under the... Um, Sorry, that's Brunei, under the UK sphere. Johor, Aceh. And there's Bali, who is currently at war with the Europeans for what region acquisition? So they're trying to annex them right now. Um, there's Dainam, which we could make protectorate out of Dainam. Let's do it. We're getting a little bit uh, expansionistic, though, but I'm fine with it. I'm sure you guys don't complain, either. So, Colombia and Paraguay. So, at the sphere for Colombia. I don't think we have... Actually, we do have some people to worry about here, so I'm going to go ahead and not uh, take that off. Here in Paraguay, we're also done, but we can um, take that off. And now it's just Peru and Brazil. Brazil, we're going to be banned until the 23rd of January. Um, Peru, we're actually opposed in, apparently. Which is interesting. Um, no, not you, Spain. Ecuador will take the alliance. And here... Oh, why are they at war with the king? King War to humiliate Japanese. So the UK. Oh, come on, Japan. You replaced me with the UK. That's not cool. Uh, Korean War for Independence. So Korea is trying to break free and King wants to humiliate um, Japan. It's probably not going to work out in their favor, is it? Well, they actually do have a border with India. So Britain's going to have to go straight. Actually. They're only partially westernized, so it's probably not going to do much for them. Um, once the king do become westernized, that's when things will become a little bit more interesting. Uh, declare war against Dainam. Let's go to annex them.
And we kind of sort of try ignoring um, some of these mountainous terrains. As long as we occupy everything else, I think we should be fine. And cheap steel. We just got that. So maybe assembly line. This is also super good. This is even better than cheap steel, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we'll still go for assembly line. Just that throughput tech is phenomenal as far as making sure our factories are being more efficient. So you see all the money we're making from the factories now. Um, long sewn. That is great. Let's go ahead and take out the army in Hanoi. So treaty of Hanoi, what does that do? Prosecutor offers them the chance to negotiate table and end this war between us on terms very much in our favor, of course. Um, no, I want to annex, annex them. I don't think that's going to get us to annex them if we do it that way. Chile will take the alliance. I feel like I'm taking these alliances, but I feel like they're breaking them because I don't remember. I thought we already took those alliances. So I'm kind of surprised. Um, Uruguay will take that. Fantastic. We're already at 43%. And France wants to ally again. Honestly, France, I just want the Statue of Liberty. Give me the Statue of Liberty. I know you want to. I decreased our pennies at a That was an accident. Come on, France. Let's be friends. Maybe I could take the Alliance just for now to see if they can give me the uh, what I want. Okay, fine. You want the alliance so bad, France, we'll take it. And we are kind of in a position where we can project our influence to the point where we could defend them in a war, if it comes down to it. So it's probably fine. And normally I don't actually ally France in my games. Usually I always ally, like, Italy or Germany, Russia. Not so much France. Uh, Empire Brazil. Sure, let's increase our opinion to friendly, finally. We're probably going to get banned again, but that's fine. Yep. Uh, rest of South America. Let's go ahead and start influencing Peru. And increase our relations with Brazil, so we can get to the point where we can get a lot of influence there. Um, that's going great. So we're at 200 relations. I, because I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten Statue of Liberty yet, which is interesting. And we're not going to get it because it's not in the game where the France. Okay. There we go. Because it, it's basically between the USA and France, not North American Union. And so I never programmed that into the game. And so of course we're never going to get the Statue of Liberty until I mod it out, which I'm probably going to do. So after this war, we're probably going to call the episode. And I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can actually get the Statue of Liberty event. They should peace out, shouldn't they? We're sort of close. We are at taking War Score Point. What else to take? Maybe we will go for economic responsibility just because I want that plus 20%. Diplo influence to get Brazil. And Peru. Let's go ahead and grab you. Increase our opinion there. And now what? Uh, the Vietnamese are retreating to Haiphong. Let's go ahead and grab them there. There we go. Another point four war score. I don't really want to go into the mountains, but might just have to. Uh, let's do interventionism. All right, they'll set. So let's go to annex Dynam. And now Cambodia is free. So North American Dai Nam. 
So that basically, I mean, we're, well, we might be expanding even more so in the future. Um, but for now, that is our the extent of our uh, oceanic and Southeast Asian expansion. So anyways, um, we're going to end this episode here. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you would like to see more content just like this and more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.